Put your mask. Uh, this is Shane Greenup. He has built a tool called Rebutter, and we've been talking about co-opting uh, projects for skepticism. This is one that's built, essentially, for skeptic stuff. Hi everyone, uh, so I'm from Sydney, Australia, and we started building Rebutter in February this year. So it's still very new, we're in the um, public beta development stage. Um, and the whole thing spawned from an event that happened about a year before we started working on it. Someone shared this link on Facebook, and it was a press release article saying that a study had shown that vaccinated children suffer from more illnesses than unvaccinated children. And I'm like, that sounds like an interesting study, I think I want to look at that. So I clicked through, and I looked at the study, and of course it was a self-selected biased group at vaccineinjury.info identifying how healthy their unvaccinated children were, and comparing that data with the CDC data. So I could see straight away the problems with the article. But what I wanted to do was, I had a friend on Facebook that thought that this was a good article to share, and I wanted them to understand why it wasn't, what the problem with it was. I didn't just want to say it's wrong, because they'd say whatever, that's your opinion. But I also didn't want to put the time in, I didn't have the time at that point in time, to go through and systematically address all the claims raised in it. So I wanted to find someone else that had already done it. Because I've been around long enough to know that someone else had already written a re rebuttal to it. So whenever you look at things on the internet, where do you go? I went to Google. And I typed in the most obvious thing I think of, the title of the article. And what I got was copy after copy after copy of the same article. I got at least three pages worth of exact copies of that one article. Because someone did a press release and every crap website out there thought, great, this is awesome, this shows definitively vaccines hurt people. So they copied it. Um, I searched for about half an hour adding rebut, rebuttal, reply to, answer to, trying to find this rebuttal to it, um, and I just couldn't find one. And I knew what I wanted at the time was just some magic button off the website where you just click on the text to a rebuttal of it. That's what I wanted. And I looked for a year trying to find someone else that had done it and I couldn't find anything. There's a lot of web annotation services out there, some of you may be familiar with them, where you can um, do a uh, plug-in installation and you can highlight text on a page and comment on it. Um, but none of them were quite what I wanted. I didn't want specific detailed analysis of the page. I just wanted to click a button and see someone else's pre-written article that I posted. So we started working on it, and that's obviously the idea, to connect just a direct link between a claim article to the rebuttal of it. Um, and so this is what it looks like in practice. Um, the implementation of it is a browser plugin, so you need to install this into your browser, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome. At the moment, we're only developing Chrome because we're still developing. We're very close to launching, and as soon as we do that, we'll start expanding into Firefox first, and then probably Internet Explorer and Safari. Um, so what we have here is, in the top right-hand corner, is the little rebutter symbol. You browse to a page. Now this is a Wall Street Journal article. Wall Street Journal, huge paper, right? So many people read this. And here's an article here telling them that 16 scientists all think that there's no need to panic about global warming. Unfortunately, what the people reading this article don't know is how many hundreds of blogs would have reacted to this um, addressing it. So with our plugin installed, we've got currently got nine rebuttals to that page in our plugin. So someone using it visits that page, an alert actually pops up on the page. It lasts about five seconds. That number stays on our icon. You click on our uh, plugin, and this drop down comes down, giving you a few links. Um, not all of them, so we wouldn't fit. So we just give four, and you click through and see the um, bigger list if you want to, or just click straight through to one of the rebuttals there. Um, so how the, how the whole thing works is we have to be crowdsourced. At the moment, there's no software engineer or system on earth that can um, identify the natural language of claims versus rebuttals, context. Um, <coughs> someone has tried something similar, but it's very challenging. So we need people to participate, to identify a rebuttal. To see a rebuttal article and go, this is a rebuttal, I can add it to a rebuttal. Um, exactly as the, the story that I um, um, told you at the beginning, where I found a page which I wanted rebutted, that's very hard to add unless you can Google it and find a rebuttal. 
But when you start a rebuttal, and all being skeptics, you're more likely to read the rebuttal first. You read the skeptic blogs and they are rebutting someone. So when you read these blogs and you read, you know, blah blah said and that's full of whatever, when you read that, just think, this is a rebuttal, I can add it to rebuttal. And once you're at that stage, adding it to rebuttal takes about 20 seconds. I'll, I'm going to demonstrate that in a few minutes. Um, but you also have the ability to subscribe to subjects and pages. Now this is really interesting for bloggers and for people who just want to stay up on current topics um, and what's happening in the news in particular areas. So if you subscribe to something like homeopathy, every time someone adds a rebuttal to a homeopathy um, website, you'll get an email. And more interestingly, every time someone goes to a homeopathy article and there's no rebuttal for it and they hit the request button, which is the next thing there, you'll get an email of that as well. So that brings me to the next thing, you're able to request rebuttals. So sometimes, in when I found that natural news article about vaccines, I couldn't find the rebuttal. So if I had a, had this tool, I could have gone request a rebuttal and then had an email sent out to all the people that are subscribed to that topic. And if right now, if I had requested a rebuttal of that today, I guarantee there'd be at least 10 people subscribed to that tag who would know of um, the rebuttal that's currently in the system, which is respectful insolence. Because most people I think here probably know of that blog and would have just known that he's covered it already. Um, at the time I didn't know anything about the blog. And I suspect most people out there were the same sort of skeptic that I was a year ago, which is you're skeptical, we know that it's crap. But we just don't subscribe to the blogs and to the podcast. Not everyone does that. So how do we reach those people that aren't sure that aren't part of the community? So that's what we want to do, is reach out. Um, and yeah, and the final thing there is at the moment we're building a requests and rebuttals feed. So more like the Reddit sort of format where you have that curated page of um, time decaying um, feed of rebuttals and requests in the system. So create more of a community feed for it. Um, and just quickly the last thing on this before the I do a demo is, so we launched public beta in March. We started working in February. And since then we've already got 2,000 users and we're growing every day, um, 600 links in the system. And that's the number we really want to get a lot more of, we want to get a lot more links because there's so much content being created. Um, and we've got 1,200 plugin click-throughs click and that's to do with the actual um, plugin. We, people can navigate via the website as well, but what we're tracking here is how many people are just browsing and they land on the page and the plugin gives them an alert and they can click through. So people are using it. Yeah. Um, I will quickly open up the demo. <laughs> so, this is a, uh, a page I came across the other day and I was trying to find some things to read about. This article is quite amazing. Um, the guy that owned runs National News wrote it himself, apparently. Um, and he tells uh, everyone what skeptics actually believe. And it's, it's a hilarious read. But anyway, I managed to find a rebuttal for it. So actually, I probably should have started. What will often happen is you, know, you read Respectful Insolence and. <laughs> the title is A Pyromaniac in a Field of Straw Men, or a Black Hole Burning Stupid Incinerating Every Straw Man in the Universe. It's a fun rebuttal. So, if you, you, know, you subscribe to this blog and you read it, it's quite obvious what he's doing, and he'll usually link to you know, the page that's being rebutted. So it's clear what's happening. All you need to do at this point is click on the rebuttal icon, pops down. This page is the rebuttal. Click. Go to the other page. Rebuttal. This page is the source. Click there. And now the URLs are source and rebuttal URLs. A quick comment. So, I don't know. Shows the errors. Shows how this is a straw man. Something's cool. So this is a straw man argument. And then some tags, so everyone knows what uh, topic it is. So I'll go. How is this? Sorry. How is this? Oh, I can't see the screen while I'm talking. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, 
So I just hit enter and we're on 4G at the moment. So, um, and then I've just added that now with the typo and everything. I'll fix that later. Um, and now there is a page. So it's one good thing we have in the system is Google actually recognizes this page over time. So it's get more action, we get more Google attention for it as well. But um, yeah, we have the source page, the rebuttal page, and I actually made an error. I didn't um, select. I think it get it now. This is a direct response. I should have done that. So um, we have the ability to differentiate between direct rebuttals in general, and that's important because in this case, this article is directly <coughs> rebutting this page. But sometimes. Um, a simple example is answers in Genesis could be rebutted by the Wikipedia article on evolution. Um, generally, it provides the evidence that contradicts the claim page. So I like to differentiate between those two, you know, because I think they're two important differences. One last part of the demonstration is, here's another page. Um, this is an article they put on just the other day, just as a simple example of, there's currently no rebuttals to this. So if you're looking at this and you're like, well, that's dodgy for whatever reason, you can click on that, and then there's just a button to submit a request. Select your tags, so it's going to be health. Cut me off. There you go, that'll do health and health. Please submit. And that goes into our feed of requested rebuttals, and anyone that's subscribed to health and homeopathy will be emailed with the alert that someone wants a rebuttal to this. So it knows if any they can add it. Um, so that's it, it's that simple. Adding it takes 20 seconds, requesting takes three seconds. And the consequence of this is, when we reach out to the wider community, and that's happening organically, like we posted to Reddit one, one comment in the um, Reddit subreddit of skepticism, and it spread to um, Hacker News, Lifehacker, um, someone from New Scientist contacted me, um, doing an article on error checking on the internet. So we're getting a lot of natural spontaneous growth from it, which is very exciting. So what I'm really trying to do, particularly here at TAN, is to find as many skeptics as I can who are subscribing to the blogs, the skeptic blogs, who can read it and go, this is a rebuttal, add it, just take the 20 seconds, so that as we grow into the general population, every time someone adds the homeopathy rebuttal, you know, someone's saying, well, homeopathy is real, because here's a study that shows there was an effective rate or something, there's someone that's subscribed to that tag that can then react with, yes, but there's this statistical error with it. There's someone there to react. We need that skeptical core to make sure we have got you know, the rebuttals for every page that gets added. So, um, that's rebuttal. Um, if anyone wants to come and ask any questions after, I'm happy to do so. And I have some t shirts and actually on the, um, the forum table outside, I've got some fridge magnets which I've got like right up later. So, thank you. Let's give, thank you. Let's give old Mike a web and trust rating while we're here. That was, web and trust is also a plugin. It comes down the same way. So I just hit that and hit the rate. And uh, I don't like Mike. <laughs> That's as, that's as easy as Web of Trust is, right? We click. You can also leave comments. Oh, I already left a comment here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can leave comments down here, and you can bubble the comments. So it's, uh, and, uh, it's super easy. Uh, start doing this stuff. It takes five seconds. You can take a few minutes out of the day and do a little bit of this. If everybody who's here at TAM started doing this a couple minutes a day, imagine the the change we would make. And I'm sorry we ran a little bit over time, but I hope you got something out of it. <laughs>